This atmosphere is being used as a physics laboratory for experiments, multiple experiments without our consent, without our knowledge. Even some of your elected officials don't even know. So some of the information that I'm giving you, they don't know anything about because there's no lobbyist educating them on this topic except to educate them to promote and do more of this type of technology. There were unusual high spikes in chemicals and heavy metals. Barium, alumina, manganese, magnesium, zinc. And I suspect that we're getting the pollution from something in the atmosphere that's being released. This is another picture showing the jet trail just before the burst. This is our skies, and I want you to know that what you're seeing now, a lot of times, many scientists know, especially at NASA and in other areas, that the skies that we're seeing are not normal cloud formations. These are man-made. And what happens as we reduce the amount of sunlight in a form of global dimming, we reduce the solar power with these type of clouds, and we reduce photosynthesis, which is going to impact agriculture. Space Preservation Act and in developing the Space Preservation Act. When I learned that uh, our administration in Washington was uh, looking at a, um, at a program called Vision 2020, and Vision 2020 actually is a program for the United States to dominate the world from outer space. The Department of Defense has been working at a facility in uh, Alaska, which is doing research into effects of electromagnetic frequencies in the ionosphere. And that facility, which is called HARP, has raised concern among many individuals about how this research would be applied. Uh, for example, uh, we know that uh, according to some of the research, as these energy pulses are directed into the ionosphere, they, they can have uh, somewhat of an effect. The statement was that it's criminal and whoever's doing this should uh, be um, charged with a criminal uh, act. Uh, this could kill uh, thousands, if not millions of people eventually. I mean, if you, you're inducing Alzheimer's uh, disease on a worldwide scale and you're inducing a number of diseases just from breathing it. I mean, within the lungs, you produce asthma, you produce chronic lung disease. People who have pre-existing chronic lung disease will precipitously get worse because aluminum, as it enters the, the epithelium of the lungs, uh, is going to produce intense inflammatory reactions. And that's going to produce a worsening of their pulmonary conditions. Also, the, the uh, aluminum is absorbed into the bloodstream, uh, can be deposited in the heart. People with heart failure would get worse. Uh, people with hypertension would get worse. Uh, numerous diseases could be uh, precipitated and worsened uh, by such uh, an insane policy. But it is criminal. It's a criminal act. Yeah, no doubt. Now, I was asked permission to do this. This was not announced publicly. This was not uh, entered into a public forum. Uh, so. These health uh, issues could be discussed. Uh, they just secretly uh, have done it on a worldwide uh, scale of, uh, of, uh, of an enormous proportion. Well, I'm not the truth. I think. Well, we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion on subversion instead of election, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not public. Mistakes are buried, not headlines. Its descent is asylum, not praise. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. But I am asking your help in the tremendous task of forming and awaiting. Because we want it.
and to make uh, the weather a little bit better. There will be monsoon failures during that period, there will be huge hurricanes. Global studies indicate there will be some impact on precipitation patterns. It might involve large-scale regional agricultural disruption lasting a number of years. Potentially, two billion people would have their food disrupted by such interventions. That the aerosols can, at least in these model simulations, or indicated by these simulations, can offset most climate change in most places most of the time for both precipitation and runoff. But it's likely to cause some damage. We're seeing this all over the world, guys. Okay, pH of acid soils is 20 times more alkaline. The aluminum in the soil has doubled in the last 10 years. The rain normal was 5.6, it's 20 times more alkaline. Aluminum blocks essential nutrients. I am unable in my garden to restore normal pH and that's because nanoparticles are now in the circulatory systems of both plants and humans. The Air Force conducted a study starting in 1993. It was called In Vitro Toxicity of Aluminum Nanoparticles in Rat Alveolar Macrophages. That's a real fancy way of saying testing the effect of aluminum nanoparticles on the white blood cells in the little air sacs in your lung, the alveoli. And what they found in this eight-year study was that these particles, when you're exposed to them long enough, it suppresses the ability of your white blood cells to defend you from airborne infections coming into your lungs. So it suppresses your immune system. But they also found that these same particles, once they get into your system, they can actually go through the barrier in each one of the cells. They get inside the cells, and these particles can actually suppress the ability of mitochondria which are in the cells that help to gobble up toxins and things that would be harmful to the nucleus and the, the reproduction process of the cells in your body. These processes are suppressed, and so essentially by breathing this material in, your immune system is dramatically suppressed. This is in Suffolk County, New York. They outlawed geochemical engineering. Hawaii passed an ordinance prohibiting geochemical engineering. I urge you to pass an ordinance, at least ask some damn questions. What the hell is all this aluminum doing here? Why are the trees dying? Fish is dying. Why is there Alzheimer and aluminum spiking? Is about when you're environmentally doing something with the atmosphere, is that you can be engaged in weather modification. Historically, weather modification in the United States began to be looked upon in the 1940s as something that people would want to do. And so they started looking at making it enhancing snow, enhancing rain. They started looking at hurricane control. There was a whole bunch of projects in the 40s that started. One was Project Storm Fury, which turned into a disaster when they tried to modify a hurricane. For the better part of 30 years, I worked in the aerospace and defense industry. Had a secret clearance twice during my career. Some of the technology that I saw or uh, participated in the creation of tends to play a role in um, some of the, the things that are used to control the weather. The very distribution process is being employed in the aerosol campaign. Manipulate.